Hey there, guys, good to see you from React Team here, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Industry Transporters. And I did go and figure it out how, how to set this up. Um, ended up having to be different to how it was before. It was a lot of experimentation, as you guys can see by the time, the time period. Um, but yes, it, it works. It's really good. So we've got two vehicles set up. One that, well, two, one that, they like kind of halfway. Um, so as soon as one reaches the other side, the other ones reach the other side. So they're like polar opposites and they just cross each other. So you'll see he reaches A, reaches A. So that, that's how it works. They both have the exact same routes, but they just start at a different time. And that's how you get maximum um, efficiency, you would say. So this is how I set it up, how it works. Like I got it figured out properly here. And the ticks, it, it's just the ticks show that it works, which is really good. Um, so what it does is it starts off at this place here, goes in and picks up some cows for the beef. And then it takes in the drives and then drops it off to the food factory. Um, I had to make sure that... Uh, oh, no, 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 this still picks up everything. So sorry, that was just one of my previous trial things. But yeah, so that's how it works. So it goes long. Let me just close that. Goes there, parks in, goes and uh, delivers it into here. Because if it doesn't have like a pickup symbol for the next thing, it'll just automatically drop it all. So it drops off at the food factory and it creates beef, meat. And then what it does is because it's got this signal up, it'll actually go and pick it up. Then take it to the store. And since it has nothing here, that's the final dropping destination where it unloads and it puts it into the food store. So that is how it's done it. It's working really good. I've also gone a bit more in depth trying to find the way to make the best amount of cash. And I think I've done a good job. I think I have. Um, okay, I'll show you him then. Um, let's just close that there. Inside the food factory, I found, like, because we're in a specific season, we start in spring, it is a lot more. But if you actually go and we click on that, and you can change your prices, as, as you guys would know. You can change the prices, of course, as six the previous month or and four. So the different seasons in the game, they do go and change the demand. I think the demand is pretty much set, though, but it will change depending on how the city's grow and stuff. So this is 25%. Of course, it's awesome, a good 25% profit, but that isn't exactly how you're going to make the most money. Even though it does sell it a lot, it won't be. Because what you want to do is actually sell the most. Okay, so in, I would say it's winter. Okay, when it was in winter, it's now in spring. If this was in the Southern Hemisphere. But let's work in the Southern Hemisphere. Because I know, I know it like that. So, since it's spring, because we're taking it from the Southern Hemisphere. This is now at 7. Okay, in winter, at 20% it was at 7. Now, in winter, at 7, uh, the, like the monthly need, that's at 10%. So if we go and look at it now, well, obviously in spring, we're going to make a lot more cash. So now it's at nine. So obviously 50%. So we could go, we can change our prices if we wanted to, but that's not always the best thing to do. Because if we go and check here at 10% in winter, I was selling it at uh, seven. There was a seventh need. So the need here was at seven per month, but now it's at 12. So effectively, that's going to bring in a lot more profit. And if we can go and capture last month's stuff, if we go and look at property, it was over there. Like, I w thankfully, I found this out. But repair, I was a bit confused upon that. And I, I wasn't earning a lot of money because of it. And just by going and figuring it out, trying to base the basic need to match the demand to make the best profit, then I was able to get myself into a positive. Even though the resource and production costs... It's, it's not very good there. I'm not liking that at all. What you can do, vehicle maintenance. You can actually research some technology. Oh, and behind the scenes, I do did go and add the headquarters. I was just testing that out because I do know that you can do research in this game. Um, pretty much since this is the, the city that we chose um, and we put down our headquarters. This is all our starting stuff. It does give a 25 bonus to growth within the city so that that's just how it is but once you got the headquarters done it allows you to go and get some research and there's a much research on this they just updated straight away there's still nothing there nothing in the research products or industries but there's some vehicles the different types you go ships plane and all of that oh uh, pretty much what it does is it reduces maintenance so basic bonus um, 0% drive cost. And I think that's mainly, I think drive cost is actually maintenance. Unless we go and look at here, we've got to info. Um, drive cost, repair costs. 
Oh my, Flip, wait. Monthly cost. Maybe that's what's actually working up to be the repair cost. So maybe I was a bit mistaken on that. Huh. It seems like then that's actually it. So if we could actually go and reduce the drive cost, we could start netting in a, a quite a hefty profit just with this food place. Plus it's it's exponential growth, which is really good. Oh, plus an info tab, you can actually see if you go and you check. Their cattles are being picked up. Okay, so that that is good. We've got that nailed down. I can actually start up my first production line and earn some profit. Um, okay, it's a new month. Let's go check how much we made with the new month. Um, no, it's pretty much still the same. At 10%. I, I swear we would have actually sold more. Um, yeah, I, I would have thought we would. But anyway, repair, that's because we have the two vehicles. So pretty much what we want to focus on is when we do get enough cash, what we want to do is actually go and start researching into technology that actually reduces the drive cost. Even though it's the repair costs are very costly, it pretty much matched there that the drive costs are also they quite costly as well per each one. So pretty much this will just go and reduce it. I'm not sure if they've leveled up technology like they level up, but um, as you can see, it shows level one. I can't actually point on the screen, which sucks. But um, yeah, I'm not sure if you can continue to upgrade or these just go and add on. Um, you can drag this more and eventually gets more. That is loading times. Okay, so it just loads faster. I'm not really interested in that. that I, I'm guessing what that just does is it gives you all the trucks technology. Like, all the trucks. Mine is 500 years on the release year of trucks. So I'm guessing it just unlocks all trucks. Um, over here, I'm sure repair costs. Honestly, I think that's what we should actually go for. I think that takes 7 minutes and 30 seconds. I don't think that's ours. I don't think it is, but um, yeah, it's two million. I'm not sure what it would do, but I think okay, that actually that's less. That's a bit odd, but I'm okay with that because if we can, it costs it costs cash. It costs quite a bit, two million dollars, and I I don't dig that. But the amount of cash that they can bring in over time can actually be quite profitable. So I'm looking at it from that perspective. We will eventually get it back. Um, it will be great if we can. Finish off this technology before the next month. I doubt it though. Um, yeah, pretty much it. That, that's it. So that's set up. Uh, we could always go and put in new trucks to bring in more industry into this town. Provide more goods. There's so many different things. We could go and open up a bread factory which we could sell here. And then furthermore could use... Wait, if we double click there. We could add commercial. So advert commercial should be changed to advertising. That, that's what it should be. But commercials, I think that's American. So advertisements. Um, that will go and boost up before the end of the month. As you can see, we would just sell more. But at maximum, you sell it's 80,000 every month. So it wouldn't be profitable. So we'll just leave it on none. The affection is going up. So that will in turn go and boost um, the amount of sales that we can make. So it's it's really good. It's, it's top notch. And that will just increase over time. And it really does end up helping. Okay, so I'm just thinking about it. Do we want to go and open up a next vegetable thing or possibly provide some more goods to the people because it's always good to provide goods to the people. Since this is a food factory, I think we'll actually go and have to open up another one even though it does show there that, yeah, I think it can actually do multiple things. I'm not sure if it does do that. Um, maybe if we go and select something here, if we were to choose bread, would that go? No, I think it just changes production. Um... Ah, see, I don't think that would be good. We could upgrade. I'm not sure if upgrading does go and change the size, but do we want to go for rapid progress? That's the question. Maybe. Can we upgrade? I don't think we have the year yet when there actually are upgrades or there's upgrades in the game yet since it is an early access. I have found that like there's not as many bugs, which I am very happy for. So it just seems like we'll have to go and build ourselves another factory, which is it's kind of disappointing. I would think that, well, maybe when it comes to a larger factory, it could produce multiple things. But if we go into the build menu, we'll just go and set up another factory here. Uh, we can still use the same store, which again, it boosts profit because we can sell multiple things at the same store which is a top as well food factory it does fall into food factory because we're going to be making ourselves some bread here um set will it actually go and reach we could go and rotate this um but will it actually fit i don't think that fits exactly because of the terrain size so we might actually go and change that 
flatten that out. I'm um, sticking on seven because I do want a good basis for that. I don't think I really actually changed it. Uh, that was a bit disappointing. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, that was disappointing. Um, food factory. No, we can't actually place it there. I'm just a bit worried. Hmm. We could actually place it quite close to here, which will then go and get there. We would have to go and put up another factory. There. I think just placing it here will be okay. We can just have it right along there. I think it is in range. So that'll be good. This does, yes, it does care. It does envelop that, so that is really good. So we have our food factory open here. We'll just go and double click it and start selecting the product that we want, which is bread. So that'll take two corn. Um, see, that's the thing when it comes in. What do you require? Meat, if we go and we open you up there, just close that. That requires one livestock, so that is effectively more. It's, it's better. That's the thing. It's like with corn, we can only take one corn at a time, and that is a bit disappointing. Uh, it's, it's it's not exactly that good, so it means that we'll have to go and get twice the cards, but would bread be as, will it be even more profitable? Maybe, if, well, I do know as more trucks and stuff get unlocked, it is able to carry more, which in turn becomes more effective, which is, which is totally, it's, it's good. In the future, we'll make more profit. There'll be more products that we can do as well. So we've got another truck and we do want it to go and, do we want it to, well... That's the thing, if I copy it's going to be like the exact same. So I'll just go and effectively just go and choose it like that. And then just go and sort it out through this. So we wanted to go and pick up... It isn't leaving, is it? No, it isn't. Okay, that's that's good. Um, It is selected on that. We'll go get it to pick up some corn. Then we'll go and get it to pick up some bread. I think it's selected on bread. And then it'll just go and drop it off at that area. Uh, we won't start it yet because I do need another truck. So I'll have to go and get that. Double click again. We'll purchase another one. Okay, so it's not... Oh, wait, we've probably actually gone and exceeded our limit. Ooh, so that could actually be a problem. I think it will be upgrading that. I'll just set it up for the moment being lab assistant. Oh, okay, it's probably because we've researched our first technology. So we do want to go and copy that. I think they are in the same position. New. No. Okay, I think like our production has halted for the moment being. Let me just quickly go and upgrade this terminal. I will need to go and upgrade it. Um... See, I'm just wondering, like, how am I supposed to upgrade? Double click, will that, no. We'll have to upgrade it through here. I think I might have to. I'm just going to wait till the end of the month till we receive some cash. See, it, it's a bit of a problem here. We'll have to go and demolish it, but at least it is the end of the month, so we will go and get our cost. And we'll see the effects of the technology as well with a reduction in repair costs. Yes, it is repair costs. Okay, so we'll just have to wait a bit until the end of the month. I'm sorry about the gas. It just is a bit of a boring thing. But it's not exactly that long. Okay, so the date, it's coming to the end of this month. And January, February, March, April, May. Ah, uh, whatever. I don't know how many days it is. It should hit. It might be calculating. Might just do it now. That, see, that's a problem. They need to leave the thing. Nah, I can't do it just yet. Okay, so it is a new month. I'm just going to get them to start going. Let me just deselect that. And just get them to start moving along. Just to get them to go somewhere if I could copy. There we go. Okay, I copied that. So that will be on its way even though it won't do anything. This one as well. It won't do anything because it, it can't actually go and get the goods. So they'll have to wait. So it depends. Hmm, is that going to be profitable or not? It's, it's all a thought about it. We'll just have to demolish this quickly. It will mess up that. But Why can I actually? Is it because it's in use? Okay, I, that that's just a bit of a problem then. Because we can't actually go and upgrade. It. Unless possibly not clicking property, but going to terminals. And streets and selecting small. I would love to get this hooked up. I could do it like that, so that would be... Okay, see, that is set up there. But the, oh, I'm probably going to have to go and rearrange all of these, so... That's probably what I'm going to have to do. Okay, so that... Wait, why are they... T uh... Oh, flip, they're glitching out. Whoops. Okay, let me just go and set up a road there. Sorry about that. And set up a street there. Okay, just, just so that they don't go and bug out. 
Okay, good. So they are going around there. Okay, so they do have a valid path to go on to. I'll just have to go and sort it out there. Okay, so we'll have to go and edit these vehicles. Okay, so you... This is your one. We'll have to go and delete yours. Because we're going to have to set you up to end up going south. Wait, no, that, that was actually correct there. Oh no, I get the feeling I'll have to do them all. Guys, I'll just be back and when it, I have set it up, then we'll probably end off there. So, I'll see you guys when we are finished. Okay, so I did go and get it to work. I had to change things around a bit and this, I, I don't know what happened to it. It just it wouldn't work. I had to go and set it up to make this larger so it could actually take in all of the stuff I made the larger second baby because I possibly will be going and setting up multiple other production types chains to go and make maximum profit but inside the store I am now selling bread and meat if we go and we check over there well it's the start of a new month so that's it the affection did go down it was at five percent because we weren't able to deliver on all the bread because it kind of started um at I would say two-thirds of the way into the month we started to actually start receiving bread inside the stores and i know it, it did go and affect them um reduction in profit because we didn't actually get to sell as much there are pair costs so we didn't make that much of a profit but we still did um wait this is the start of this month okay so it's okay it's chill um when we are able to get the rest of the stuff there then it'll be all good uh bread won't flow as easily as a would the meat um these trucks are probably the bread trucks because they do have to wait for this uh what you call it the farm to actually go and send the corn to go and then send it to the processing factory there um so yeah pretty much that's it i hope you all did enjoy if we can go take a quick look maybe to see if it actually had some effect on the running costs um that's still for this month i'm not sure yet um repair costs is not at 200,000, so that does look like it has done something we can always go and check here um i think it was this one or was it this one it's one of these i'm sure we did one of them um 10 level two is this actually even affecting a bonus zero percent repair cost for trucks Maybe the technology tree doesn't exactly work yet. But still, we did it anyway, so I thank you all for watching, and I hope you did enjoy this episode. I know it was... It could have been a bit boring because it was just the sorting everything out. We did get to open up another chain in the future. The videos will more be like, okay, guys, so boom, flash in. We've opened up a new production lane. Boom, a bit more into the future. And we've got enough, well, more cash start up next thing start doing multiple cities and stuff and that's pretty much how it will be so thank you all for watching if you haven't subscribed please do please pop down a like as well it's always great to know that people are digging the videos if you have anything to ask put down in the comment or still just put something down in the comment like just to tell me that you're having a good time watching it because it's always great to know when people are having a good time so thank you all for watching and i'll see you in the next episode